Okay, I'm live. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Let me just get my comments up. Welcome. <laughs> and I'm excited about today's topic. Just waiting to get the screen up. I can't see myself yet. Or the comments. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Thumbs up already. Ladies, make sure that you thumbs up and then I know that you're in here. So thumbs up and say hello as well in the chat. Hi girls. Welcome. Welcome, it's kind of lagging a little bit on my end. Hi girls, hi. Right, I'm seeing you ladies. I can see you coming in. Right on time, hi. <laughs> hi Emma, Taria, Ev everyone, wait, Evie Kitty. Hey girl. Oh, San Diego. Hi ladies, hi Sarah. Okay, I'm seeing lots of familiar faces, lots of familiar ladies. Yay, Rhiannon, I'm pleased. I'm pleased you caught a live. <laughs> okay, so let's get into today's topic. Um, now it's a Friday evening. I know that people have probably got plans. This is 8 p.m. for me. And, you know, I have things to be getting on with. So I'm going to try to make this short, sweet and straight to the point. Now, because it is the weekend, I know that lots of you are probably, you know, if you're working during the week, then the weekend is the time that you use to go out here and be seen. <laughs> and if you're using the weekend to go out and be seen, then ladies, welcome. Make sure that you thumbs up when you get in here so I know that you're in and also say hello <laughs> okay so and I really appreciate um, all of the likes already by the way so if you are using this weekend to go out and be seen then you have one task thank you I see the likes creeping up thank you girls then you have one task one thing that you need to make sure that you're doing of course collectively there are you know there are lots of things really if you want to say but there is one fundamental act for you to do to grab the attention of men and of course you want to grab the right attention from the right men we will get into that but first of all it's just about grabbing that attention in the first place, girl, turn the volume up. I don't know. I can't shout. I can't scream. I can only speak, you know, how I'm speaking. So turn it up. I think you girls are so used to me using the microphone. So now I'm not using the microphone for the live streams. There's a big difference, but there's nothing I can do right now. I have listened back to my, um, my live streams and I've turned the volume up and I can hear it. So... Turn it up, honey. I don't know. Sorry, Nadia, but just try to turn it up. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi. Thank you, Ashley. All right, perfect. All right, so the volume's okay for you. Okay, so the one thing that you must do is to dress for men. And you ladies don't actually know this, but I'm kind of obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. Um, 
with her films and just how she carried herself the type of um, alluring presence that she had the fact that we are still talking about her to today tells us a lot about what she did and how captivating she was the fact that she knew how to command that attention from men and nowadays it's the trend to wear things that are unflattering for your body type the trend now is to wear, you know, boyfriend um, size things, boyfriend shaped things, things that have no relationship, no, um, no correlation whatsoever to the feminine body. Okay, and what I want to remind you ladies to do is something that Marilyn did and what she spoke on in one of her um, interviews is to dress for men. Now I actually have the interview here and I just want to read a little bit of it for you and then I'm going to be, you know, putting my own, um, putting it into my own words and, you know, just talking to you. So, now this article is in 1952 and it's still relevant today. So. You can really get to, yay Christy, hey girl, so you can really get to um, get some real knowledge from this lady, the fact that the things that she said were relevant in 1952 and they are still relevant in 2022, okay? Ladies, thumbs up the, um, the stream when you come in here and also say hello so I know who's actually watching. All right, so. She said, I wonder why most women dress for women, question mark. <laughs> now, just that sentence right there is enough for me. <laughs> but I'm going to carry on, continue reading. I think there's a mistake. Sorry, ladies, my laptop is overheating. Let me unplug the charger. I don't know if you can hear that sound. It's kind of weird. Let me just unplug the charger for a second. Hopefully it will cool down, honey. I think that's a mistake. For myself, it would be anyway. I happen to like men, so I usually like the same things they like. Therefore, it's a matter of simple logic that, of course, I dress for men. She goes on to say that... She believes your body should make your clothes look good instead of using clothes to make the body conform to what is considered fashionable at the moment, distorted or not. That's why I don't care for unorganic clothes. Clothes that have no relation to the body. Clothes, it seems to me, should have a relationship to the body not to be something distinct from it and she also goes on to say that femininity is not something that you can get solely from clothes it's more so something that you have to embody so we're going to get into this i think that what she said was just for me um i'm like it resonates and i completely agree with it ladies when you come in Thumbs up the screen, okay. Okay. Amira said, men said we are more approachable when we aren't all done up in heels and makeup. Um I I don't I don't know. I don't know about that myself. Um I feel like when you're not done up the way that you should be if you want to attract certain men certain men's attention you're going to get riffraff and the riffraff are are comfortable approaching when you're wearing you know um, running leggings and a tank top when you're wearing trainers they are more than happy to come over honey they're skipping over but 
they're not skipping over when you have done more. So I don't know about that. Alright, I think it's the wrong men that, that don't want to do that. Right, so, in terms of what Marilyn said, I completely agree. Now what I have seen lately because of the trends, the boyfriend um, stuff, you know, that trend that's going on, it just, yes, okay, it looks stylish, yes, it looks fashionable, yes, it's very androgynous and that's really cute, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you're trying to get the attention of men who are not in with the trends, they don't even care about all of that, they're not on Instagram, you know, they aren't going to understand when you're wearing something that's, the shoulders are over here. It's unflattering. So make sure, ladies, that when you are buying your clothes and when you're going out this weekend trying to be seen when you're doing all of that, that you are dressing for what you know that these men are going to be interested in and what they're going to be interested in is um, an outfit, an ensemble, a clothes that actually show off the feminine form and that work with your body. Okay, I know that lots of women want to maybe shy away from things that are, um, you know, form fitting. I think that that's the way to go. <laughs> You don't have to show off everything. You don't even have to show any skin if you don't want to. But just showing something like your waist, you know, having a belt, cinching that in. Or maybe even like a bardo top like this. It's giving something, it's slim fit, but it's not overly tight. These are things that you can wear that are more feminine and show off what you have without it being vulgar. It is, it's clothes that actually show the feminine form. They want your body types. Wait. But then Marilyn Monroe and other icons like Audrey Hepburn had short hair. Um, yeah, but I think that that was the style at that, at that time. In the 50s, I know that Marilyn had um, a really short hairstyle that was the that was trendy at the time. And in the 60s, her hair was getting a little bit longer. So I think that she liked to keep um, up kind of more up to date with her hairstyle because when you wear an old school hairstyle, it can just look really old. So I feel like hairstyles, you have to keep up to date with them. And for us in 2022, it's more about length. That is what more people are into. That looks a lot more youthful. And that's kind of where you need to go. Or at least volume. It could be maybe shoulder length, but at least if you have some volume. Um, but I don't, I would not say to do a bob. I think that they're quite aging. Even at that time, I feel like they were aging for the women at that time. But it was their trend at the time. And for us, now it's all about long hair. So, next thing. I want you to really, really think. So when you are putting on your clothes, you, you've opened up your wardrobe doors. Welcome, ladies. I see lots of you coming in. So when you have opened up your wardrobe doors, I want you to really, really think about what you're going to take out and what you're actually going to put on your body. Because if you want to attract attention in general, it's about wearing something that suits you. And like Marilyn was saying, she likes to have clothes that fit her body nicely. So she makes it work around her body instead of making her body conform to what she wants to wear. It's all about how you look and wearing things that do it justice. Mm -hmm. 
Ja, hey Dominique. Yeah. So, for me, one thing I've noticed, if you're on my Instagram, you would have seen me wearing this blush pink satin midi length skirt religiously. And I've also been wearing it with tops tucked in or um, maybe a top that comes up just above my waist. So you can actually see the indentation of my waist. And to accentuate that, I've been wearing a belt around my waist as well. So if you actually go to my Instagram and you look on my stories, I have something up there, I think it will still be up there. In my stories, you love that belt, thanks Sam. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with it, but the point is that since I've been wearing that and really showing my waist, I have had, so girls, I've had the most attention I think I've ever had in my entire life. This is from men and women as well. Just something so simple, but dressing in such a, yes, it's feminine because it's a skirt, but it's not so feminine that I'm wearing, you know, a completely pink dolly dress, you know, it's nothing like that. It's feminine because it's um, a skirt, you know, it's, it's blatantly women's clothing, but it's not overly feminine, but it's the way I'm wearing it. It's the things that I am, um, you know, the body parts that I am accent, um, you know, mm, not really, but just trying to highlight, okay? And I think that that is why I've been getting more attention, just because of doing that. I think it makes a really big difference, a really big difference. Um, okay, I just want to go through some of your comments and then I will continue on. Ashley said, you shouldn't have to dim your light to get approached. Since guys are visual creatures, they like beauty. Normally, them same type of guys, be dusty girl. Exactly. They're not, um, yeah. Like for me, I don't even get approached. Wearing that midi length skirt, it's not what those kind of guys are interested in. They don't want to see you wearing something past your knees. They, they don't want to see all that. They don't see that as something that is attractive to them at all. The kind of guys who do are the ones who you are supposed to be dressing for. So if you are dressing for someone who is maybe, he could be in his 40s, he could be in his 50s, he could be in his 60s. I don't know how old you guys are. I don't know what kind of um, age ranges you date. Um, you can actually let me know what kind of ages you kind of go for. For me, it's 50s, that's what I like. Then they are going to be looking at something completely different to what the younger guys are looking at. What the older guys find attractive is different to what the younger guys find attractive. So when you're wearing the mini skirts, they're both going to like it, but depending on what you're wearing on the top half, the younger guys are more likely to approach but it depends what you're wearing with it on the top half if you are wearing something past your knees I feel like that's more geared towards the older guys 50s to 16s yeah that's nice nice dating age range hi she likes you can't find me on Instagram, xoxozebra, that's my Instagram girl. Um, Ashley Jean, you caught, this is the first live you've caught, welcome. <laughs> Ladies, my... This makeup has been on literally all day since the morning, so it's held up kind of well, actually. 
I'm quite happy with my new um my new makeup routine. Mm. Okay. Those women had very feminine and traditional and beautiful fe features. They could have pulled off short hair. Are you talking about like Marilyn and those old school ladies, Lauren Bacall, you know? Yes, they had lovely features. Um, yeah. They did. Okay. Destiny said, I have a date tomorrow with a guy I've been talking to on Hinge. How do I ask him to get me an Uber to the bar? Destiny, I just feel like, um, if that's what you, if, if that's what you want and you feel like you want him to get you that Uber to that bar, then I don't know if you drive, but maybe tell him that there's a problem with your car, it's in the garage, or, um, that your uber app is not um it's not working right now you could tell him something like that and just say look would you be able to um get me an uber there i'm having issues with my with my app or something um you could say something like that and just see what he does if he does it he does it and if he doesn't then you haven't it's not you haven't lost anything because you don't even know him so yeah you could do that I don't know if it will come off as entitled, but I just feel like dependent, you know, depending upon your age, you can get away with certain things that if you're a bit older, you just, it, it it's ridiculous. So I guess it depends what age you are as well. Okay, Afi. Happy Friday. Is it normal for an attractive woman to get not to get approached due to having an un unapproachable demeanor or serious or mean look um yes i think that that is normal because naturally nobody wants to go up to mrs grumpy so if you do look really serious and really you know unhappy then i really doubt somebody's going to feel like positive energy to come over and speak to, you know, Miss Grumpy. So I definitely think so. But I do also think that if you have your face straight and you're just like going about your life, doing whatever, I do still think that you can be approached because that has happened to me. You don't have to be smiling to be approached by someone. If a guy does want to approach you, he's going to. But that being said, if you have resting bee face where you actually look miserable and so angry and like life has just beat you up that day I really don't think that you know your chances of being approached are going to be a lot smaller because somebody doesn't want to go over to that you know let's say you saw a guy and there, there were two men they look exactly the same same height same build wearing the same um you know suit had the same pose sitting down in their seat or whatever one of them is smiling and one of them is frowning he looks like he has the the weight of the world on his shoulders and the other guy is there you know laughing smiling um just looking happy to himself who would you feel more comfortable to ask directions from <laughs> you know so it's, it's the same kind of thing so turn that frown upside down <laughs> you know there are different reasons why people want to approach as well yes they have to be attracted to you but maybe that guy is seeking something fun and exciting you know and he feels like maybe if a woman isn't all the way attractive, but she seems like she is so vibrant and happy, he might approach on that basis as well. So, 
try to remember that. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, Sara said, where do you get most approached with your fabulous outfits by wealthy men? Cafes or hotel bars or restaurants or somewhere else? I would say different places. For me, I cannot say one place. That's why when you ladies say, where should I go to get approached? It's like, that, that's not how it works. As long as you're in those areas, then... It, it doesn't matter so for me it's been walking down the street it's been also in the um the dry cleaners it's been in waitrose <laughs> if you don't know what waitrose is it's just a, a supermarket so it's been supermarkets um it's been where else definitely at restaurants especially if you're at the bar seating area and which is another reason why i suggest harrods because it's not too formal but at the same time it still looks very elegant their customer service is really really good in harrods and it's an easy way to speak to people okay so i would suggest restaurants this this is what it's been for me, just walking around, out and about, um, so just anywhere girl, anywhere. And in terms of bars, I don't really do bars, for me I would mainly go to a bar if I was like out with maybe like my sisters, but I don't really do bars, so, and hotel lounges yes i do go to hotel lounges yes i have been spoken to in hotel lounges for me it's been more when the atmosphere is a bit looser you have to know your city and know the people sarah i know that you're in london as well so take the dorchester for example in the early afternoon you know what londoners are like everybody's so uptight but get into 7pm, people start winding down, you know, 6pm even after work, that kind of time. People winding down and they're not so uptight and they're more likely to speak to you. So it just depends where you are. You have to try different places at different times. But um, yeah, so different places, girl. Oh, there's not a one size fits all. Right, so yes, eating alone is brave, and when you look your best in quality areas, then you have a better chance of landing a man. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, do you think bars are a good first date? For me, no, because it's it's just it's it's not enough. So I I don't know. I think it depends. Maybe that day you really fancy going to a bar, but for me, I can't have you. You guys have seen my story time. I can't have more than two drinks without needing food in my stomach. <laughs> so um, that wouldn't work out for me. And it would actually be a very short date because after the second drink, I would actually have to leave, to be honest, because I would need to eat. I would actually start getting a headache and I would need to eat something. I'm going to be acting very silly as well. So that's not a good idea for me. And some men want you to be like that. That's why they're suggesting just the bar or they're just cheap. They don't want to waste, invest an hour and a half having dinner. They just want to do a half hour drinks date. Like, no. H ladies, how are these guys going to ever learn if we don't teach them? 
unless you really fancy cocktails then fine but if it doesn't benefit you don't do it if it does and you're really fancying you know like that peach bellini or that lychee martini and that's all you want then go but if it's not all you want then don't go but when you have made him spend let's say 50 pounds but with his drinks as well let's just say i don't know um 80 pounds 90 pounds on your date and then the other woman has made him spend 200 plus or something on their date then who do you think he is going to be more eager to actually follow up with and see again because he's invested more time at the dinner table and more of his monies so you've got to remember that who is he going to be more likely to give that call back to because he feels like he's invested more of his time and more of his money into it. so just kind of remember that but let's get back onto the subject so to the topic when you're dressing for men this weekend i want you to focus on because we all have different body types okay we all have different body types we have different um features different parts that we want to play up different things that we like about ourselves different body shapes you know we're women so we're all very much different so just remember that when you are choosing your clothes this weekend okay thank you Alexis so just kind of bear that in mind but I want you to think about this when you see men looking at other women what are those women usually wearing what are they usually wearing and i'm not talking about you know tom dick and harry on the street corner when i'm not talking about what he gets whiplash for what about the businessmen what do they look at those kind of men even when they're with their wives who are they looking at and you've got to understand it's never really that woman who is wearing this oversized blazer and these loose trousers and these trainers or the bulky whatever trainers it's the women who are dressing more mm, more womanly in the sense that they are actually dressing for that they're dressing for the body okay they're dressing showing some type of feminine form they're the ones who are getting more attention <clears throat> so just kind of remember that so ladies what kind of body features would you want to play up is it your waist is it you know maybe your decolletage is it your shoulders is it your legs maybe you might have some of your legs out is it um you know do you like to have a bit of cleavage on a day-to-day -day? what's your go-to let me know in the comments i'd like to know for me personally i would say that i like to do waist i, I like to do it all though but for day-to-day -day, i don't really do too much like you know too much of the girls <laughs> but because when you're going to certain places like you can't do all that if you're going to do some of this then you really can't be showing everything anywhere else oh Sarah said my sexy bum <laughs> nice so you're wearing some really nice um I don't know maybe you're wearing a nice skirt to show that off maybe you're wearing a pair of um I don't know if you're doing trousers to show that thing off because Let's be honest, if you really want to accentuate that, then trousers do do it the best. But, <laughs> with, no pun intended, with that midi skirt I was telling you ladies about, the satin one that I've been loving, it really does a lot for me, for my bottom, I would say. Alright, so the girls are talking. Destiny said the waist and cleavage. Emma collarbone shoulders so this would be cute for you then Emma something like this Nadine said waist legs revealing neckline I like that see that's the men are going to love that you know you I can just see them drooling right now 
over all of that. Okay, Ashley said it's the boobs. I prefer to play with my legs and shoulders. Body hugging dresses or oh, nice. For me, shoulders and decolletage and my small waist, yes. See, that kind of thing is going to get them like, you know, their tongues are wagging. And even when they are, even if they're having a stressful day and you see a woman, like, they're just naturally going to be drawn to this. This. The waist. The bottom. They're just naturally drawn to these things. So even if they're having a bad day, even if they are stressed out, when all of that walks past, they're going to notice it. And if you're not showing it off because you're wearing this loose baggy thing, they're not going to even notice you. So unless you have like the most stunning face in the world and whatever, but at the same time, um, look how you're dressing. These older guys don't understand all of that stuff. All of like, you know, the trendy stuff. Okay, decolletage, collarbone, shoulder, waist. Okay. I like it. All right, I like it. Hey, Sharon. Thank you, Monara. Thank you. So, for me, I would say that my number one go-to is always going to be my waist. Because when you do the waist, what you're doing is you're showing off your bottom as well, your hips as well, because if you're trying to cinch in your waist and accentuate it, then you're showing other things simultaneously, just by default. Okay, so for me that's definitely my number, 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 number one. And it's something that I wasn't always trying to implement before, just because on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, sometimes you're wearing like flowy dresses, you're wearing these things, but if you are wearing something flowy, get a belt around your waist. So we want to make sure that with all of our outfit choices that we are thinking to ourselves, if, yes, I like it, I'm a woman. Yes, my sister's going to like it, and my girlfriends, but if I was a guy, would I stop in my tracks if I saw myself today? And if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't take a double take if you were a guy, then you're not wearing the right thing. And I feel like it's that simple. And the reason why I feel like it's that simple is because men are very black and white. There aren't that many layers to them. There isn't that much going on. It's what are they attracted to and what captivates their attention naturally? It's the female form. So it naturally, if you want that attention and you want to command it and you want to have higher chances of receiving that attention from from those men then you must do what you know that they actually are naturally drawn to okay it's the same as breathing for them that's why guys are always looking something you're never going to stop them stop them doing and it's just a natural thing to them and this is something that we all know deep down anyway so let's just know what we know and actually use it and do what we know is going to work. So like I was saying, me wearing that satin um, blush pink midi skirt, cinching that waist, um, get your shapewear going as well because that will help if that's something you need to do, do your shapewear. So wearing that, get that waist going, wearing something that is not completely revealing but it still shows the, what it needs to show is doing what you need to be doing that day. Now, I also want to mention, you girls, you already know this anyway. Of course, you need to be doing your hair nicely. You need to do, okay, my battery. Let's plug that in. Of course, you need to do your hair nicely. You need to do your, sorry, that was a lot in your face just then. <laughs> You need to also have your makeup done. These things are going to be eye-catching as well to men 
you know. So when you have your lips looking big and juicy and you have gloss on them and you've taken the time to really do your lips and make sure that they don't just look, you know, boring and dry and matte, get that gloss on them. Make them look wet and juicy and sexy. And you know that that's something that men are going to like. Let's just keep it really, really real. That's what they're going to like. Have your lashes on. And if you don't like to wear lashes, then you could even um, just really take the time to do your own natural lashes. Make sure that your eyes just look bigger and prettier. You want to make it so that what you look like is the opposite to them. They don't have mascara on, so put yours on. They don't wear lashes, so put your lashes on. They don't cinch in their waist, so they don't even have one. <laughs> so cinch yours in. They don't wear makeup, so wear yours. They don't have juicy looking um, glossy lips, so have yours going. Right? So do the opposite to what they do and you'll be fine. Do you see lips behind the mask? I don't even wear a mask anymore. Only when I have to go to the GP surgery. But we don't have to wear masks in in, in London anyway anymore. Miss Ziva Mayum. <laughs> You're my absolute comfort YouTuber. Your voice soothes my soul. That's actually my mood. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Okay, so someone, okay, you girls are talking to each other, but, um, yeah, you need to go to those nice areas, girl. That's what you need to do. Okay, so Monira said, yes, silky material works for me. It makes me look classy. Yes, I think that those materials, just based on your fabric, can be captivating to men as well. If you're wearing something silky and it looks really soft, it kind of makes you think of nightwear, like a really sexy nightwear when you're wearing those kind of skirts and they look like slips, don't they? So, younger men don't know about slips. Older men know about slips. <laughs> so, it will naturally make them think of more like, you know, something sexy, kind of like bedtime um, wear, if you know what I mean. So, fabric can make someone feel a certain way, you know. So, definitely, I agree. Those silky, soft materials are very, very... Um, alluring. If I was wearing the same that midi skirt, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a silky material, it wasn't satin. If it was just wool, I don't think it would have the same effect. <laughs> so I definitely agree with that with the fabric choices. Okay. Alright, I don't know how long I've been on here, but I think, I've, has it been one hour? I need to get off of here and have some dinner. Ladies, I've actually been out all day today. I had my laser um, appointment. I did content for my Instagram. And honestly, I don't even know where the time's gone. Close to 42 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to come off of here in a second, um, ladies. But I'm loving the lives. I did a pre-recorded video, so I'll upload that at some point. But I'm preferring the live streams, to be honest. I think it's so much nicer to actually interact like this. Um, so I definitely prefer this. So let's just, let's recap quickly before I go. This weekend, make sure you are putting your best foot forward in terms of the sense that you are thinking to yourselves before you actually choose your 
your outfit ensemble you think to yourself if I was a guy would I do a double take if I saw me wearing this today if the answer is no put it back and pick something else out stop stop being boring stop being boring stop hiding and wearing things that are drab and blah you know stop doing that embrace yourself embrace your femininity embrace your womanhood embrace your body and this comes back to some of my other um topics and points about confidence being confident in yourself not second guessing yourself and just doing i don't know who is blowing up my phone like doing all of that you know so you've got to think when you put your clothes on just think is this going to be attractive to the men who I want to attract and if the answer is no then do it do it properly usually women like to self-sabotage because they don't want to wear something cute because they know that women are going to be staring at them and I have had that I didn't want to wear certain things because you know that women are going to be giving you side eye or you're going to get a lot of looks from women and we can't live our lives like that I can't live my life for Sharon and Michelle and them no I need to live it for me me and John and Mark <laughs> not for Sharon Sharon and Michelle yeah okay so you guys are into the midi dresses as well i like that all right chrissy said boring 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 is so wait huh boring is so I d i'm not too sure what you're saying there hmm I'm sorry, Han. I'm not too sure what you're saying there. <laughs> yes, John and Mark. <laughs> Wear a shirt, skirt. Oh, one of my looks today. I actually wanted to wear a shirt with my um with with my skirt. I only dropped the skirt on. <laughs> anyway basically i couldn't even put it on i had like loads of different clothes with me to try on i literally dropped the shirt on the floor and it had a mark on it so i had to wear something else so but what i did with it, it was still cute but i think that shirts can look really nice if you have a nice cropped shirt that see it's cropped so you can still wear shirts but just make it be cropped and make sense for a woman's body if you're wearing something that a man can wear, then you're stop it. <laughs> stop it. I do like shirts as well. Well, I only I have I have two. I have two. Right, ladies, I'm going to go because I'm kind of rambling and I don't want to bore you and put you into a coma. So I'm going to leave you here. Oh, Chrissy girl, she said, I go straight to boring first. That's your go-to. Chrissy, no. No, no, no. Let's change that. Let's change that. Let's make it so that if you are going out this weekend, make a point. Oh, you're still building your wardrobe. Yeah, that is fun. I need to get new pieces as well actually because my style and my sense of things is changing especially after like finding this article and everything it's made me evaluate things and um my dress my style as well which is why I've been trying to accentuate my waist more and really think what is it that men are wanting to see you know so make sure that you're thinking that way as well Chrissy and you know all the other girls in here um Go okay, just hush your volume, just turn it right up. 
And then when the adverts come on, mute the laptop. <laughs> that's my best advice my next live may be on uh, I think on Monday Let, let's do a live on Monday let's have some fun on Monday girls <laughs> what would Kim K wear well recently Kim's I don't know what she's doing these days um she just likes to she's doing that whole Balenciaga thing with her like it's like blackout. I don't. I don't know what's going on with this chick. I used to, yeah. I think like old school Kim, what she used to wear before, pencil skirt with um, a top that stops at the waist, so you can still see the waist. Those kinds of things. She used to wear lots of um, figure hugging, um, but good material. Um, oh, I don't know what she used to do, but make sure it's a good material. Midi length dresses. She used to do those. Um, so yeah, that kind of classic dressing is what she used to do, that's what I used to like. So I do still say that to myself as well, what would that old Kim K wear? But also, what would Marilyn wear? Because, yes Kim K, yeah, she looks really cute and stuff, but Marilyn, we're still talking about her today. I don't think we're going to be speaking about Kim um, in years to, to come. Well, I don't know. But it's not for the same reasons. Okay, Kim and Pete is an old pairing. Yeah, it, um, yeah I, I don't know what's going on over there. But at least, I don't know. It is a bit of an odd pairing. Yes, Dominique, I agree. Yesterday, I was actually out with my mum and we saw, sorry, I'm like super, super oily now, um, but she actually noticed, we walked into a, a shopping centre and she noticed as soon as we walked in, within maybe one minute, within like moments, two women um, they were like older women she said so maybe like 40s I don't know I didn't ask her but she just said older women gave me the once over different women they went together looking at my outfit and that is the outfit that I think it's still up on my story so you ladies go and watch my story and that outfit I will also be doing um, a reel with it so you'll get to see it um, this weekend gosh i haven't actually posted on my instagram in i think two days three days it's not good right ladies i'm going to love you and leave you here um but yeah timeless dressing is the way to go accentuate what you need to accentuate that means wearing things that you know are going to be captivating and that are going to get his attention what is going to get his attention the feminine form that's going to get his attention so do that that's the way to go I want you ladies to remember not revealing but show off the form okay I want you to really remember that not revealing and that's kind of the way to go <laughs> okay girls I will see you on Monday I'll see you in the live on Monday and if you're on my Instagram then you know I put stuff on there all the time or in my story. So I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> on Instagram. All right, ladies. Thank you for joining me. Bye, girls. Bye.